Hello, I'm Adam Paul Morgan. Thank you for clicking on to what is uh, me talking about Pokemon because it's Pokemon and this little soft toy, which is mine, I've had it for just over 20 years now, made me think about Pokemon the game series. All the, all the sort of Pokemon stuff, the cartoon program, the new film that's been, the trailer's been released this week, Detective Pikachu, and all those other Pokemon things as well, the trading card games and things like that, Pokemon, 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 made me think, this little idea of catching Pokemon, catching Pokemon, training Pokemon, battling Pokemon, yeah, battling, made me think this is like a simple idea that works very well, it's been going on for so long, has been going on for so long, I don't know why, I just know it does. It works so well that it has been going on for 20 years, like I'm from the original Game Boy, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Red, followed by Pokemon Yellow, all the way through, say, X and Y and all the other games and all the stuff, and this latest one, yes, I know, is this one here. I got Pokemon Pikachu and there's also Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, which this week has just been released in fact it's been released today and i'll tell you what it's not a bad game this one it's more relaxed it's more chilled out and relaxed game i'm gonna dunk you in water if you carry it so basically the whole pokemon thing made me think this thing here has been going on like i've had this soft toy for over 20 years now over 20 years and i'm 33 now i must have got this when i was 13 14 or whatever, I can't quite remember the age. But that just made me think, you know, this Pokemon thing has been going on so long, and yet it's still going well today. Very big, very massive, popular thing. But of course, today, there is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, I chose Pikachu, and also this little device here. Now, unboxing. This is one of those unprofessional unboxing videos, but an unboxing video, what would you absolutely necessarily call professional? Nobody knows, but this is the box for Let's Go Pikachu, and yes, Eevee is available. And of course, I do still play the Pokemon Go with Pokemon Plus device. Let's have a look. Will I play with the Pokeball? Depends on how big those balls are. Let's have a look in what you get inside the box. Of course, you get the USB... C, USB-C, ha ha ha, yes, very unprofessional, you get a copy of the game, but of course with the Pokeball you do get the Mew, Mew even, sorry I'm not exactly the pro most professional unboxing person ever, but then again, who cares, now let's take a look at the ball, yes the ball, that's much smaller than I thought it was going to be, <laughs> it's really small, I have big hands, look at that, Clickety click. Oh, there's a little light bulb. It wants to sink. Button there for the B button. And I presume on the back. See, I don't read the instructions. I'm going to presume that there is where the charger goes. But that is the Pokeball. I have very large hands. Look at that. Looks kind of fun. Oh, a little vibration there. Oh, boy. There we go. And of course, all the waffle included, but I'm not going to read. One thing I didn't include while uh, doing that unboxing is this part here of the thing attached to the Pokeball is you put that round your ring and I don't think anyone's actually shown this yet. If you're the first to watch this one, well done. And you've got a wrist and ring strap, a wrist and ring strap where you can play the Pokeball and I actually have Mew in here. I've actually took it out of the game, played it and put Mew back in. Flashy light, yes, it flashy lights. But the actual game box, um, for those who haven't got the game, thinking about getting the game, if you're a hardcore Pokemon fan, I would say get it for the Switch. It's nice, relaxed and chilled and going over the, a new type of gameplay and it's rather actually fun. Um, this isn't a review, it's a sort of first impressions. But inside the box, you do get a little map. You get a little map, I thought that's wonderful. Um, I know everyone, well, not everyone, most of the hardcore Pokemon fans, I really like, well, this game looks good, it plays fun and all that, but they're looking for the sort of the next generation of Pokemon games to come out where this is a remake. It is a remake, but it's still fun. I've had a bit of fun. I've had a good quick two hours, and so far it's pretty good. And of course, as I say, going on to the sort of Pokemon thing, everything that's going on with it. Detective Pikachu. 
Now, I knew there was going to be, I think we all knew, we all knew there was going to be like a sort of Pokemon film on the Detective Pikachu thing with coming out and with Ryan Reynolds as the voice. So I can't get Deadpool out of my head and I'm hoping it's going to be slightly mature. But then the trailer come out and my first reaction was, that actually looks quite good and I want to go and see it. Wait, this is a Pokemon film and I actually want to go and see it. Yeah, it does actually look quite good. The special effects and the computer generated, it looks good and there's a bit of story about it. Now, I know people want the sort of, the idea of a Pokemon trainer becoming a thing and going off to become gym leader or I don't know, to be honest. But it's fair enough, but you've, you've got that in the TV series that I was watching again over 20 years ago. This is showing my age now. There you go, you got all that, but it's a different story. It's new, it's fresh. You've got Ryan, Ryan Reynolds providing the voice of Pikachu. And it does actually look quite a lot of fun, the way it was sold. And I think it'll be quite a good film. The most unexpected thing that I would actually go and pay to see, because I'm not a pirate anymore, which is in another video coming up. But that's uh, the Pokemon thing at the moment. And of course, that wonderful thing that came out for mobile devices just a couple of years ago, Pokemon Go. Now, it's recently had an update where you don't have to have your mobile device on. You don't have to have it on to hatch your eggs or even collect candies for your Pokemon buddy. Now, I'm currently in a job where I have to walk a lot, a lot cover a lot of distance, sometimes up to 16 miles a day. I'm loving it at the moment. Turn my phone on at the end of the day, or we'll turn the Pokemon app on. Bing, 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 and all these notifications come through of how much well I'm doing. So I'm liking that feature at the moment, and it's trying to encourage you to burn calories off and things like that. I think it's just more encouraging to get you walking to collect uh, Pokemon candy, not necessarily burn candies, but there we go. And of course, I've been flashing my friend code up for this entire video. <laughs> if you play Pokemon Go, by all means, add me on and I may send you a gift or send me one because it's easy XP, baby. This is a clickbait video just to try and get some easy XP during Pokemon Go. <laughs> Talk about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. It's a fun game and Detective Pikachu, yeah, I'm really liking it. I want go and see it and just shows how long this Pokemon thing has been going on for so I'm Adam Paul Morgan if you like the video good for you well done um, you don't have to subscribe in fact I wouldn't bother I'm Adam Paul Morgan thank you